Welcome everyone to Winston-Salem, North Carolina as a new season of college basketball is upon us and the Chicago Tech Crocodiles are set to take on the Wake Forest Demon Deacons here as Chicago Tech coming off a 9-11 season exceeding expectations and this year now they actually have expectations to continue to improve. Wake Fee last year finished 13-18, and 18, not what they hoped for. Your starting lineups for today's game for the Crocodiles, Rashad Pickney, Brashad Anthony II, Elijah Smith, Mahmoud Abdul-Wahad, and Ronald Clemens. For Wake Forest, Jacoby Wilkins, Truman Sams, Ethan Fromm, Darius Armstead, and Cam Finney. It'll be the junior Ronald Clemens and Cam Finney set to tip this one off. And we are underway as it will go to Ronald Clemens and the Crocodiles, the junior Rashad Pickney, bringing it up as he will get it to the true freshman, Brashad Anthony II, making his collegiate debut. Chose Chicago Tech over Duke, believe it or not, as he gets his first career bucket to start the game off. Here's a Wake Forest offense. Jacoby Wilkins, the senior point guard with it, as he gets the pick. And Wilkins, not much time left on the shot clock. He's going to have to heave it up, hoping he gets lucky. No good. However, it would be rebounded by Cam Finney, the big man. He ends up missing it. Rebounded by the Crocodiles. Here comes Brashad Anthony the second, going coast to coast. Gets it to Pickney for his first bucket of the season. Pickney led Chicago Tech in scoring a season ago. And then a nice slam for Ethan Fromm. Tying the game up at four apiece. Nice pass from Truman Sams. Here's Wilkins on the drive over to the big man, Cam Finney, who misses the dunk, believe it or not. And then Mahmoud Abdul-Wahad with a deep pass for BA2, Brashad Anthony II, who gets the layup. 8-4, Crocodiles lead it as Truman Sams with it, guarded by the sophomore Nate Brown. What a solid year as a freshman, starting about half of the games and coming off the bench in those other games. As here's Sam Swiffett trying to drive around. Sam's is going to take the three, and it is good from Tristan Sam's, the junior guard. And Wake Forest will make it a one-point game, now a three-point game. Here's Jacoby Wilkins. Nifty pass over to Cam Finney. That one, could, that one was going to be easily blocked by Ronald Clemens, but a nice pass was able to save that. There's Walton Banks, the second, the sixth man last year, who was second on the team in scoring. Once again, keeping that role, hoping to do the same as he drains for three, 17-14. Truman Sams with it. He's wide open with some miscommunication between Walton Banks, the second, and Jake Jackson. Here's Banks on the drive, looking for Ronald Clemens, the big man. Clemens only averaged around six points a game last year, but so far today, doing a pretty solid job scoring the basketball. He has 10 points up to this point. His career high is 14 points, so he very well could break that mark. As there's Jacoby Wilkins getting by the senior Quantavius October for the layup. 21-18 October with it over Jackson over to Nate Brown. Brown step back. He tries to beat the shot clock. However, it does not roll in. Does not get the Kawhi Leonard roll. And here goes Tristan Sams, or Truman Sams, sorry, as the Demon Deacons passing it around. Sams with it. Guarded by Nate Brown. Holding on to it. Not much time left on the shot clock over to Wilkins, who finds Ethan Fromm. Fromm going to take the three. No good. However, it would be rebounded by Darius Armstead, and he loses it. Here goes for Crocodiles, going coast to coast. Mahmoud Abdul Wahad hits for tough layup, making it a five-point Chicago Tech lead. As you can see, by the way, Chicago Tech rocking their new logos and new jerseys for the first time today. As Elijah Smith with some nice defense, forcing the jump ball. And with Elijah Smith's vertical, I expect him to win it as the jump ball will Indeed, go to Elijah Smith and the Crocodiles. Not much of a surprise there. Smith, no points up to this point. It's Brashad Anthony with it over to Rashad Pickney. Pickney trying to drive for the layup, and he's going to be denied. Cam Finney saying, not in my house, kiddo. Here comes the Demon Deacons as Jacoby Wilkins with it. Wilkins trying to drive by Cam Finney. Finney now open in the paint. Finney would be denied. Nice play by October. Getting to the basket. And then Rashad Pickney wide open for three. And he would drill it. Ten point Crocodile lead. They are looking good right now. As the Crocs are red hot. 28-18 is your score. 429 left here in the first half. Here's Jacoby Wilkins trying to drive by Pickney. He's going to find Ethan Fromm in the corner. That one would roll out. However, Tristan Sams, his three 
will go down, making it a seven-point deficit. Now 28-24, here comes Brashad Anthony. He's going to take the three, and it is good. Brashad Anthony more like Insanthony, as he's been insane so far in this first half. He has been playing very well in his debut, 30-24. to Here is Vadim Deacons on the other end. Tristan Sams with it. Nice pass to Finney. Over to Ethan Fromm, who gets the lawn two right there. Nice play for Wake Fee. Making it 30-26 to as Walton Banks on the drive. Tough layup would bounce out as the toilet roll would be unsuccessful. Here comes Truman Sams with it. Guarded by Pickney. He's going to find Jacoby Wilkins, who hits the layup. Nice play by the senior. And now it's just a two-point game. 30-28 to now as Rashad Pickney with it. Pickney loses it. Jacoby Wilkins playing nice defense. Pickney does get it back, and he's going to heave up the three. With not much time left on the shot clock, and it goes down for Pickney. 33-28 as Jacoby Wilkins over to Cam Finney. Finney guarded by Quantavius October. Gets that one to Darius Armstead. Armstead over to Sams, who would be denied at the rim. Here comes the Crocodiles going coast to coast. Brashad Anthony wide open for three. It is good. And Chicago Tech now up by eight once again, just like that. 36-28. Here is Ethan Fromm with it. He has been Wake Forest's best player so far in this first half. Over to Wilkins. Over to Finney, who gets it back to Fromm for the layup, making it a six-point game. Now 37-30 to as Jacoby Wilkins' tough layup would roll in with 32.8 seconds left in the half. 39-32, wide open for three as Truman Sams. It is good, making it 39-35. Not much time left here in the half. Jake Jackson, the sophomore, with it. He's going to get it to a wide open Ronald Clemens, who would miss the easy shot. Clemens is not much of a jump shooter, kids. And that's how the first half will end your score. Chicago Tech Crocodiles, 39. Wake Forest, Stephen Deacons, 35. As the Crocs have certainly been the better team. But Wake Fee really hanging in there. The Crocodiles guards are playing very well. Pickney and Anthony. Ronald Clemens also have a good first half. I'm sure Chicago Tech wants to see more from guys like Elijah Smith, who has not scored yet. Smith was third on the team in points per game last season. Second among the starters. So he definitely has expectations on this team. 39-35 to start the second half off. Here's Truman Sams with it. Over to Finney. Finney gets that one to Jacoby Wilkins for three. No good. Tipped and rebounded by Cam Finney, who would get the layup. Two-point game as the Deacon Deacons really clawing in there. But Rashad Pickney would answer right back with a jam. The five foot ten guard. Had a few dunks last year, and he gets one there as the paint was not defended. Neither Darius Armstead or Cam Finney were down there to make an attempt on that one. There's Wilkins, tough shot, good, making it a 41 39 game. As Wilkins has had a very solid senior debut. Here comes Chicago Tech on the other end. Pickney with it over to Brashad Anthony. Who it's the contested layup. I'm excited to see if Anthony gets a dunk in this game because that man can absolutely fly. Here's Finney with it. He'd be denied at the rim. However, Ethan Fromm would get it from bang, 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 making it a one point game. Nice shot from the senior sharpshooter, 45 42. Jacoby Wilkins with it. He would get it to Cam Finney. Finney with the jab step on Clemens. He's going to get it to Darius Armstead. Armstead with the drive. He's been quiet today over to Cam Finney. One-handed jam, one-point game. Chicago Tech does still own the lead, but Wake Forest has to be happy with the start to this half as they are playing pretty well the first few minutes. Here's Jacoby Wilkins with it. Wilkins guarded by Pickney. Tough layup is good, and for probably the first time in this game, but Wake Forest Demon Deacons have the lead. Here's Elijah Smith to Brashad. Anthony, the second for three. No good as Anthony trying to re-give his team the lead. However, he would be unsuccessful as Ethan Fromm with it. Fromm over to Armstead, over to Wilkins, back to Ethan Fromm. Fromm trying to drive. He gets the layup and good, making it a three-point Wake Fee lead. 45-48 as Jacoby Wilkins with it, guarded by Brashad Anthony. Anthony trying to tip away at that ball. As now some confusion. Wilkins shot. No good! But Darius Armstead, he goes for the dunk and somehow misses it. Wake Forest's second missed dunk of the day. And then Brashad Anthony, the second, will get an and one after that, tying the game up, assuming he makes his three throws. He is a very good free throw shooter. 
Now the game tied up at 50. Wilkins with it over to a wide open Darius Armstead. The big man can shoot. Only a sophomore, but very good jump shot. Very nice stroke for Armstead as Jacoby Wilkins with it. Wilkins loses it. Stolen by the Crocodiles. As here goes Walton Banks over to October, over to Anthony. Why not let it fly, young man? Shot Anthony launches a bomb and it goes in. That kid has to be confident. He is having quite the second half and quite the debut for Chicago Tech. 55-53, now our score is Anthony's three. Does give the Crocodiles the lead. Jacoby Wilkins trying to answer back, no good. There's Ming Xiaoping, number 13, making his collegiate debut. He was redshirted last year as Walton Banks gets the tray ball, making it a five-point Crocodile lead. Here's Jake Jackson now with it. Jackson, his first bucket of the day will be a layup, making it a seven-point game as Anthony's three Really giving Chicago Tech some momentum. 60-53. to 53. Here's Jacoby Wilkins with it. Wilkins trying to get by Banks. Tough layup is good for Jacoby Wilkins. Now 63-57. Mahmoud Abdul-Wahad, the senior with it. He's going to get it to Walton Banks, the second. Banks with the layup. It is good. Making it an eight-point Chicago Tech lead with about five and a half minutes left to go here. In regulation is Ronald Clemens with the steal. Here goes for Crocodiles going coast to coast. Mahmoud Abdul-Wahad, nice layup for the senior. Take another look as Abdul-Wahad gets that one to go. Four points now of the day for Abdul-Wahad. Elijah Smith, three, no good. He still has zero points up to this point. It's definitely been a very underwhelming De sophomore debut for Elijah Smith as for Crocodiles gets the steal. Here goes Ronald Clemens. With the two-handed j, j jam Nice play for the big man Clemens is Nate Brown with the steal. Brown taking it coast to coast over to Elijah Smith. Finally on the board with his first bucket of the day. 12-point game, now a 10-point game. As Jacoby Wilkins wide open for three. It is missed. Rebounded by Abdul Wahad. He's going to get it to Rashad Pickney. Pickney wide open for three, and he's going to let it fly. Splash right there for Rashad Pickney having a solid game up to this point 74 61 here's jacoby wilkins screen from armstead as the wake force demon deacons are pick and rolling 74 63 here's anthony with the and one i want to see him jump over that man but i'm sure he's happy with that one as he gets the foul and the bucket as nice play by wilkins he does miss it However, Cam Finney would answer right back with an and one of his own. Quantavius October called for the foul. 79-66. Demon Deacons trying to stay alive. As Ethan Fromm with the screen. Getting mean. He does miss it. Rebounded by Armstead. Back to Fromm. He's wide open for three. Making it a 10-point game. Wake Forest certainly still in it. Now under a minute to go. Still a 10-point deficit. As Truman Sams. No good. Rebounded. By Finney, who would be blocked at the rim by Quantavius October. Here comes the Crocodiles as Brashad Anthony the second with the jelly. What an acrobatic layup for Brashad in Sanfony as he has been nothing short of insane with the 360. Goes in regardless. Have yourself a debut, kiddo. Anthony actually loses that one. Tristan Sams with the steal. Here comes the Demon Deacons. It's Darius Armstead with the N1. Cutting the deficit to 10. He would miss his free throw. And then Brashad Anthony with another N1. I don't know what else there is to say about that as he has been truly insane. And only fitting that Anthony is the one who would dribble out the clock. That is how this game ends. 84-71, your final score. 31 points for Brashad Anthony II in his Chicago Tech debut, which is a school record for most points in a game, which was originally set last year by Rashad Pickney with 28. So definitely a great way to get Chicago Tech's second season off with a dominant performance from Anthony. And for the second straight season, they will start off 1-0.